Ag Shield has a complete line of roadside spraying equipment with many different options and configurations. Our patented and industry leading designs are based on 30 years of experience building sprayers. Our sprayers are designed for quality and innovation that get the job done right. Now let's take a look at a few of the reasons roadside spraying is saving local governments money. Every local government needs to have smooth, safe roads for the taxpaying members of their community. However, in recent years it has become increasingly challenging for many local governments to successfully balance all the demands on their municipal budgets. One of the larger budget line items is road maintenance. Traditional methods such as a combination of greater passes and graveling or heavy mowing are expensive and cost prohibitive in some situations. This is why many municipalities are now taking advantage of AgShield's proven and patented technology in the spraying industry to substantially lower their road maintenance costs. For example, when comparing the cost of road graders and heavy duty mowers to the cost of roadside spraying, you quickly see budget savings of 70 to 90 percent of the previous per mile operating costs. Now let's take a closer look at the three areas of the roadway where local governments have been saving money by choosing to control all types of vegetation with roadside spraying. The first, the road surface, followed by the shoulder, and of course the final component, the ditch. As soon as you start to have grass, sod and weeds taking over the edge of your road surface, the grader operator is no longer able to pull the aggregate back off the shoulder and feather it out across the road due to clumps of sod and other debris. Reclaiming this roadside gravel is especially important for communities that plow snow throughout the winter and move gravel to the road shoulder when plowing. Often when grass and other vegetation start to take over the roadside, the grader is forced to cut away the invading vegetation. This then causes large sod rolls to be created, preventing the grader from spreading the gravel from the shoulder over the entire surface of the road. These sod rolls are often pushed to the shoulder, leaving a dangerous ridge for motorists. Grade level or secondary roads are an important part of the road system for rural communities. Traditionally, Vegetation on these roads has been controlled with expensive grader passes. These grader passes over time lower the elevation of the road and create dangerous sod rolls at the edge of the road. When the grader is forced to cut away the invading vegetation, it often leaves a ridge or secondary ditch on the edge of the road surface. The secondary ditch then holds water and prevents it from running off the road surface until it finds a weak spot in the road. Now all the water from both directions runs off at one point. This concentrated runoff washes a section of the road out that will require expensive repair crews or an additional grader pass just to remove the ridge. Roadside Spraying, the solution to safer roads and budget savings. AgShield has taken its 30 years of sprayer expertise and designed a sprayer specifically for controlling all types of vegetation on the roadway. This roadside sprayer incorporates many of the patents and technologies that you would find on our industry leading field sprayers. As you can see here, this local government has chosen to control vegetation by spraying the road surface. This allows the grader to operate faster and pull clean gravel from the side of the road and spread it out across the entire road surface. Let's take a closer look at the economics of integrating roadside spraying into your road management budget. For this example, we will look at the cost to grade and the cost to spray one mile on both sides of the road. The sprayer has a cost of $16 per two-sided mile, including fuel, maintenance, labor, and herbicide. The grader has a cost of $60 per two-sided mile, including fuel, maintenance, and labor. Right away, you can see that spraying is roughly 27% of the cost of grading the same section of road. Now let's take a quick look at the chart that shows the savings over the various distances. This chart shows the total cost to grade in yellow, the total cost to spray a five-foot pass of the roadway in blue, and the total money saved by spraying in green. As you can see, in every case, you're saving roughly 75% of the cost to grade by spraying. These savings mean that you should pay for the cost of the sprayer in the first 250 to 300 miles of use. These numbers may vary slightly for different local governments as labor costs and the types of equipment vary. If you would like us to work a customized savings chart for your local government, please contact us and we'd be happy to analyze your specific situation. We have just taken a look at the main road surface, but what about the shoulder and the ditch? Currently, if local governments are not already doing some form of spraying, they are using a tractor and mower to control vegetation. Most often this vegetation takes the form of noxious weeds, volunteer grain from truck traffic, and the prolific seed-producing Russian thistle, 
all of which grow tall and need to be controlled. In addition to high maintenance costs and slow operating speeds, mowing is often not ideal for noxious weed control as mowers will just spread the seed along the roadside. Controlling noxious weeds on the shoulder and in the ditch is critical to keeping native grass growing and preventing noxious weeds from spreading into fields and yard sites. AgShield's roadside sprayer can be configured to perform multiple tasks in one pass. For example, you can spray to eliminate vegetation on the road surface and apply a different product to the ditch to control broadleaf plants. As you can see from the below before and after images, invasive vegetation was sprayed allowing for native grass to regrow in the area. Often spraying is the only way to control noxious or invasive weeds as they tend to grow faster and or taller than the native vegetation. In this example you can see that there was no off-target spray drift and there is no need for an expensive mower pass. To provide insight into the budget savings that local governments are experiencing, let's compare the operating costs of roadside spraying to a heavy-duty mower. In this case, we are looking at a slightly more expensive chemical for the broadleaf control, resulting in a $19 cost per two-sided mile, including fuel, maintenance, labor, and herbicide. The mower has a cost of $122 per two-sided mile, including fuel, maintenance, and labor. This immediately saves the local government 85% of their previously budgeted costs for the same mile of road. As illustrated in the chart below with the cost to mow shown in blue and the cost to spray shown in red, you are saving 10000 of the previously budgeted $12,000 by choosing to spray the same 100 miles. The actual savings for your local government may vary depending on what your objective for spraying is. To find out more about what spraying will do for your local government, we would be happy to answer any of your questions. For many local governments, controlling brush and trees along the roadside is their primary focus. These trees and shrubs often pose a serious safety risk to those traveling on rural roads. Trees can easily block visibility at intersections or on curves when meeting oncoming traffic at speeds. These situations are especially dangerous when meeting wide farm equipment. Roadside bushes and shrubs can also hold snow on the road, creating the need for additional plowing. Another concern for many local governments are the rapidly growing trees and brush that cover critical road signs. Quick regrowth will occur if recently mowed or cut trees are not treated with herbicide. By spraying or using a combination of mowing and spraying to prevent quick regrowth, local governments are able to drastically reduce their brush and tree shredding budget. All models of Ag Shield roadside sprayers can be equipped with optional boomless end nozzles to efficiently cover brush and shrubs on a dedicated pass or while spraying the road surface creating greater cost savings. The end nozzle spray angle and coverage area can be adjusted to accommodate the various ditches and vegetations in your municipality or county. For spot spraying of noxious weeds, trees and tree stumps, a premium hand wand is available for spot spraying. Let's compare the cost of spraying boomless end nozzles against the operating cost of a shredder grinder. For spraying with the boomless end nozzles, there is a cost of $36 per two-sided mile, including fuel, maintenance, labor, and herbicide. The shredder mower has a cost of $525 per two-sided mile, including fuel, maintenance, and labor to shred medium-sized bush. This immediately saves the local government 93% of their previously budgeted costs for the same mile of road if one shredder mower pass is prevented in the future due to roadside spraying. As illustrated in the chart below with the tree shredder shown in brown and the sprayer in red, you are saving $24,000 or 93% of the previously budgeted $26,000 to operate a shredder mower for 50 miles of road. Now that we have looked at the three most common uses for roadside sprayers, let's take a closer look at why local governments, counties, municipalities, and custom sprayer applicators are choosing Ag Shield to get the job done. As you can see with these conventional spraying systems, wind can easily cause spray to drift into sensitive areas that you don't want contacted by spray. In the past, these conventional unprotected systems are the reason that many local governments have had to reduce or stop their roadside spraying program. This is why AgShield has created the first roadside spraying system that can deliver precise spray pattern control and limit off-target drift. This means a dramatic reduction in the risk and liability normally associated with conventional unshielded spraying systems. Okay. 
To see just how effective a shielded spraying system is, let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison using a 13.6 mile per hour or 22 kilometer per hour wind. As you can see, the boom on the right that is operating above the ground with no shield to block the wind has substantial wind drift typical of a conventional unshielded boom. Eggshield's roadside sprayer easily folds up for transport whether it's a quick trip or highway speed travel to the next job site. Once locked into place, simply lift the boom and drive away. To prepare the sprayer for the next job site, simply lower the boom to the correct operating height and fold out the boom. Even the best operators will miss something in the deep grass or even a signpost. Eggshield has a safety boom breakaway that will help prevent damage to your sprayer and to that elusive roadside. Once the boom breakaway has opened, it will automatically reset, allowing you to continue without getting out of the truck cab. Our roadside sprayer models can be configured to meet many different scenarios for your local government. Here we have a right hand boom that includes the end nozzle spray attachment. Depending on the type of job, some operators will also choose to have the left hand boom option as well. All the major features of Egg Shield's boom can be adjusted from the cab. The standard in cab controls allow the operator to control the boom spray system, as well as the raising and lowering of the entire boom, including the boom tip. In addition to the standard spray management system, an automatic rate controller can be added if you foresee conditions that will cause you to operate at varying speeds. Eggshield spray systems can be configured with GPS systems to track and report exactly what sections of the roadway have been sprayed. This is useful for local governments who are required to report what areas have been sprayed. We have many other features such as video boom monitoring systems that can be added depending on your specific needs. Please contact us if you have any questions or would like to better understand how roadside spraying creates safer roadways while reducing your road maintenance budget.